Hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging, and I'm here with Jennifer Erdman from Yogurt. And so you guys, if you follow my blog, you know that I write a lot about Yogurt. Yogurt is a supplement that's made from sheep's milk. And actually, Rodrigo's walking over here because I think he heard Yogurt, and he's like, can I have one? But you can't. Mommy's <laughs> working. But I give Rodrigo Yogurt because he has a small list of phobias. So he's afraid of fireworks and thunderstorms and windstorms and loud noises. And when we rearrange the garage or clean it up, he gets freaked out by that. And then another one of my dogs, Zoe, she gets really nervous about going to new places. So when we go for a walk off the property and it's in a new location that she's not used to, she literally shakes until she settles down. And so yogurt is something that I give to my dogs when I know that the weather is going to be a problem for Rodrigo, if I know the fireworks are coming, if I know I need to take Zoe to the vet or for a walk in a new place, I put yogurt in their breakfast or I give them a treat of yogurt before like 30 minutes before we go. And it just makes everything a little easier for everyone. So Jennifer, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me, Kimberly. And how did you come up with the idea of this fantastic product? Okay, so I really wanted to create a yogurt treat. So I started doing my research and, and reached out to some family dairies in Wisconsin. And um, I met with them and we came up with a plan that the sheep's milk yogurt might be a very interesting treat to create. So back home I go into my test kitchen and lab and I started creating and started researching ingredients that are really, really healthy for, you know, for all dogs. So um, I know that like, for example, my first one um, is with the sardines and of course, dogs and cats go bonkers over sardines as, as do mine. And then I had a golden retriever with cancer. So I started really researching foods that are helpful in preventing cancer, as well as when they are, you know, diagnosed with cancer. And, and big one, of course, is kale. And so I also worked with a holistic vet um, on the formulations. And she, um, said, you know what, we need to include beets and all this to really flush the liver, which is so good for us as well. So all these ingredients are, you know, people, people ingredients that are good for us. So when I started testing and, and formulating and I thought, well, let me try it with, with my four um, fur kids, I have golden retrievers. Um, I, I gave them some treats and lo and behold, like, you know, 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, they were all like mellow as can be. And that was like a surprise because I had a one-year-old golden that is a wild child. <laughs> and the other one, um, again, sort of like one of your dogs, really, really anxious. I mean, he'll shake at just loud noises, thunder, you know, thunderstorms are just like, oh my God, um, let's go hide in the shower and put blankets over us kind of thing. Um, so I started, you know, and I saw these effects. So I thought, well, hmm. Is it just me, you know, that I want something to happen? So I actually um, reached out to friends who had dogs with anxieties. And I said, you know, can you test this for me and kind of get back to me with the results? Well, one by one, um, they, they came back with pictures of dogs that were super thunderphobic or having trouble going to the vet, all kind of like mellowed out. So I was like, oh, okay this works. So uh, once I brought it to market, um, other people started trying it and um, giving me wonderful testimonials. And they just also are loving the ingredients because it, they, they're ingredients that are really not seen very often in treats out there. Um, and they're a little more unusual. Um, and so I really, you know, love that. And so I just started growing the brand by adding couple different flavors so now we have the sardine the beef heart that you showed is a big winner and then the emu um not such a known protein but it's actually really coming into the marketplace now people are recognizing that it's a super lean protein 
good for anybody with um, allergies, protein allergies out there and everything. Um, again, you know, the emu is a, is a, is a great bird <laughs> and it can never be, you know, have um, growth hormones or anything in there. And actually um, the other thing is they're also um, help the carbon build up because they're, they're, they actually improve the environment they live in, which I really like that part too. So all around, um, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, the um, emu ones are my favorite, and I, the reason yeah. why, and I wish I would have been more prepared, but um, I'll put a picture in the video of the emu treats, which are little discs. And what I love about those versus the other ones is that with the other ones, what I do is I just I just pick one. I have all three in my house, and I just pick one and give it to the dogs. You know, when we're going to do something. But what right. I love about the emu treats is once we're gone. Right. If I notice my dogs getting a little anxious or a little stressed out, I can just take out this little disc and give that to them. Right. And the dogs all love it. They love these treats. I mean, when they see me pull down the bag, they come running and sitting down. Yes, and they, yes. they actually recognize. I know I have the same. Like before thunderstorm, I go in and I grab the bag and they're all like, Dino's going, thanks, mom. <laughs> I need them bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, cause you knew, I, I've tried so many things when it comes to thunderstorms for Rodrigo. Right. I tried a thunder coat, you know, it was just basically putting him tightly into something and he would just sit there and still be panting. Um, yes. You know, and like in the midst of like, you know, thunderstorms, he has that now under control. The yogurt just completely helps. With the fireworks, what it does was it enabled me to, because where we live, we live near where, like, Boom City is what it's called. So fireworks start, like, oh. two weeks before the 4th of July. Oh. And because of yogurt, I was able to get Rodrigo so that he can basically become acclimated to the noise over the two right. weeks. Rather right. than just basically... 14 days of terror with this dog and me not sleeping and staying up with him. So the <laughs> night of the 4th of July, he actually, you know, cause he's still, you know, all the dogs sleep with me and I just turn on a movie and you know, it's summertime. So I just turn on the AC and everyone gets the yogurt and um, Rodrigo lays with me and I just watch a movie and he may bark a couple times with the really loud noises, but for right. the most part, he sleeps through the night. Once he realizes that, okay, we're cool. He sleeps right. all night and it's so different. And going back to my first experience with fireworks, I gave him medication. He's a black dog. I live on five acres at nighttime. It's pitch black outside. He's completely high off this medication and he bolted right. off the door. He got past me into the night with fireworks going on. That's, the no, that's and I had to run after him and try and find him. And it was the most terrifying situation I've ever experienced with him. And because we have coyotes, we have, you know, right. mountain lions, you know, and right. it's like, I didn't know what was going to happen in this environment where all the animals are terrified and um, being able to no longer like, cause I was never going to touch medication again. Having a natural alternative is, Oh my gosh, thank you. Right. Right. I mean the same, you know what? Um, the same with me because with um, especially Dino, he's, I call him my big redhead. He actually developed at five years old um, idiopathic seizures. Mm -hmm. And that was a very you know, scary experience. And basically he had seizures after events that were stressful for him. So like, you know, he was once attacked slightly at the dog park, 24 hours later, massive grand mal seizure, not fun and not fun for him. I also didn't want to do medications, but it's really difficult to find anything out there. I mean, I, I did the rescue remedy. I tried all those. It didn't really help him until I found yogurt. Now he's actually seizure free, which to me and for him, what a turnaround in his life, not having to have to experience that. And same for me. Right. So, you know, and I've seen, which I'm sure you have too, from friends and, 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 and people with the, coming back with, oh my goodness, testimonials, especially like foster dogs that come with baggage. And, you know, I'm a foster failure too. We're, you know, we want to really have them become part of the family, but not always that easy at first because they are just, you know what I mean? Like go oh, shaking or scared of situations and new things, new noises as, 
you know, we would be too, really. Mm -hmm. So the, the U groups have, and really has been a great help to a lot of those fosters or newly adopted dogs. And I'm glad you said that because it's, I, um, Jennifer has generously supported Keep the Tail Wagging and has been my sponsor for probably two years now. And she sends me the yogurt each month and I basically take a box and whenever I hear of someone who has a need, I give them right. a full box of yogurt. And a friend of mine, Elizabeth, um, Elizabeth and Jennifer are good friends of mine. They run a local rescue, Save a Mutt. And Elizabeth was telling me about, she is more focused on the senior dogs. Jennifer is focused on the puppies. And Elizabeth was talking about some, you know, just basically some anxious issues she was having. And, and it was, she and I, she's a raw feeder and I'm a raw feeder. And we always talk about natural things. And, and you're right. Sometimes rescue remedy isn't enough. You know, I diffuse essential oils in the house, but sometimes that, you know, when you're in the midst of a, um, a big thing, event sometimes that's not enough or maybe you don't catch it in time and we were just talking about what she could do and I was just like I need to bring you some yogurt and I actually it's funny because I was had a crazy busy day I threw it in my car I knew where she was going to be that day she was actually at a rescue event I went to the event brought her the <laughs> box of yogurt in the middle of like this luncheon and was like I can't stay I'll see you guys later and the other day, and I actually sent Jennifer a picture, I was at my local pet store, and they had a huge display of yogurt at the pet store. And they're like, yeah, Elizabeth came in here and said, I need you guys to start carrying this. And I was just like, yes, because this is how it works. You know, it's the word of mouth. And I'm so grateful that, you know, that she saw such a difference in her recipes. Right. And yeah, it's like, it's really, I mean, I, I know that, you know, with like everything, not everything is going to work for every dog. Right. But right. It, I mean, all of us, you know, and everyone who's watching this is interested in natural options. And this is such a right. great option. I mean, I, I have all four dogs who have taken yogurt periodically for different things. And I've definitely seen an improvement in each one of them. And it also helps a lot the GI tract and mm -hmm. everything. They're, oh my goodness, where I've had people again come to me like, oh, thanks, because my dog has had chronic diarrhea, which is mm -hmm. it's a little difficult. Yes. To manage that. And sometimes they're unable to really diagnose it. So I said, well, try the yogurt. And they come back. They're like, oh, 24 hours later, yay, we're back to, you know, road to recovery and feeling so much better because, and it is, it, it really is because of the probiotics and the sheep's milk. If you look at just that sheep's milk of the powerhouse of so the minerals, the vitamins and everything that's in there, it just is terrific. It just, you know, um, helps so many different little issues. Yeah, it is and it's so true. And because I use it for not only for the anxiety, but I use it for like if my dogs aren't feeling well. Sydney, right. you know, she had a partial cruciate tear. It's healed, but, you know, she's had, you know, she has arthritis and she's had a tough go right. of it. And so she's getting back into exercise. She goes to acupuncture and other treatments. And what I'll do is like today for lunch, you know, she'll get a dish of yogurt. Right. Actually, all the dogs will get it because they'll all want it, but she'll get it. And one right. thing that helps is that it soothes their mind and body so they can relax. Into right. And heal. Yeah. And so, and when Rodrigo is having, when he, he has digestive issues and when he's having a bad day, giving him yogurt not only soothes his gut, but it helps him get to sleep and relax into the night. Right. And same with the other dogs. It's like, it's, it's definitely part of my injury regimen. So if any of the dogs aren't feeling well, yogurt comes out because it's one of those things where it, I wanted them to be able to relax and heal. Um, right. Last summer, um, Scout, nearly collapse from heat exposure from heat exhaustion he was just overheated he was playing too hard in the summer when we got him cooled down and relaxed and in the house and when he was ready i gave him a dish of yogurt because right. i knew that that would help him relax more i didn't want him wanting to race back outside and play again right. oh. and, and it did got him he got some sleep and you know the by the end of the day he was back to his normal self and so it's just there's so many wonderful uses for this supplement right so um, I know that you have other products. Um, what, what else do you have for, for pet owners? Well, we also make, and these are, um, we make some soaps, wonderful soaps. They're actually shampoo soap bars because um, we did not, a lot of people have asked us, well, why don't you do the liquid? Well, 
the liquid requires chemicals and I don't care how many times people tell you that it doesn't require chemicals. It does. We've done extensive, extensive research. So ours come into a soap bar, which is actually kind of old fashioned because that's how soap used to come. We also do it. Um, what's something called cold processed and we hand pour every bar. So there's no machine at all involved. It's all us. And then, um, we have them cured for about 30 days, you know, until the full saponification takes place. And then people can start um, enjoying the um, shampoo soap bars on their dogs. Now, people who've, who've tried it see a huge difference because once like it really, really lathers up beautifully, but the big difference is that it rinses mm -hmm. completely clean. I have four Goldens. I used to spend an hour just trying to rinse them at the, you know, at the, at the self-wash and, you know, they didn't like the, the fur that was kind of just a gooey almost, you know, cause you couldn't rinse that shampoo out. So, um, it's really made a difference. I think for a lot of pet parents, especially with long haired dogs or dogs that have skin sensitivities or issues um, my holistic vet actually really recommends it she has a rescue to pet owners who who um get a rescue dog to really you know wash them a lot of them have the mange um and other skin issues so it's a really really clean so people kind of call it the clean yummy clean soap um we do use and you're really familiar with this therapeutic grade essential oils you use it in your life as well makes such a difference in the smell than the fragrance oils that are at times really overpowering we feel a dog doesn't really want to smell it smell of lavender you know or, <laughs> or or body spray right or body spray so we offer it in just a couple different flavors just the lavender beautiful lavender lemongrass and peppermint um real simple that's you know what i mean we we don't mix we just like it kind of pure all our soaps and stuff they come of course we have a beautiful signature um one that is a sheep shape yeah. that is just adorable people like are like oh i can't use it i'm like yeah. well sure you can for god's sakes i finally um, had to just use it i i say i had mine for a year right. <laughs> finally had to use broke it. down and you're right it's it's so wonderful because it does it rinses well it i have four dogs it takes no time for me to bathe my right. dog and they're super clean i mean and it's and it's not overpowering i, I you know, Zoe is super sensitive to scents and is not a fan of bath time. And this soap does not bother her. I mean, she's still not a fan of bath time, but she's not just absolutely miserable because she's being overpowered with all right. this smell. Right. And you don't need a conditioner. Yeah. That's the other thing too. So it's like, yay. Um, then we have also some, um, we have something called a Tootsie Balm, which of course is great for their nose um, and, and also for their pads in winter time or in summer, or just, you know, if you're out and about and they have kind of, um, their pads are a little scratchy and not, not healthy. So that really um, is great to, um, to rejuvenate. Um, then of course, um, we also have started the bath bombs, which people are, they're like, hmm, why do I need a bath bomb? Well, okay. So the reason why we did that one is we have one rescue called Skylar. She's a little golden. She's from Vegas. And she has a little bit of an issue because she kind of is really timid and scared. So when she is in new situations or meets new people, she'll pee. Mm -hmm. So. So as a consequence, we have a little bit stinky butt, we call it. So basically what um, we do, instead of bathing entire Skylar, she has a cute little pink pool outside. We, we put the bath bomb in there and we just have her sit in there to disinfect her little bottom and make it smell good again. So, <laughs> nice. so that's kind of nice. You know what I mean? It's again for pet parents. Oh, here she is. <laughs> it's for pet parents. Um, that have, you know, like their little kids have little, little, little issues we need to address once in a while. Um, and the newest thing I just um, brought out is um, uh, the bone broth. 
It's a hot one. So we actually um, are making it um, emu bone broth, which is fabulous. It's fro this is a frozen product, so um, the minimum is two to an order just because of the shipping. So we're doing um, also grass-fed beef, which is just scrumptious and we'll also do the venison and have those um i have those now um posted on the website and people are truly enjoying mine of course enjoy that every single meal and are going nuts over it i mean and so, bone broth is people who follow me know i am a huge fan of bone yes. broth and it's like sometimes people will ask me you know if i can make it myself why buy it and i'm going to tell you why I don't always have bone broth on hand. I may have bones on hand, but I don't always have bone broth on hand. And even though in a pressure cooker, it only takes four hours to make bone broth, I can only really do it on the weekends. And then I have to wait for it to cool. Then I have to separate out the bone and then I have to spoon it in. So it's not like it's really fast and easy to get it done. I mean, it's faster than when I used a, a slow cooker, but it's still a process. So in the meantime, it's nice to have a quality bone broth on hand so that I can actually just give it to my dogs when they need it. And I give my dogs bone broth, not just as a meal topper, but it's great for, for joint health. It's, it's a yes. natural liver detox. Yes. It's great yes. for you know skin and coat health. It's great for- Eye health. Yeah, it's great for dogs who are picky eaters. You know, when I'm fasting, I, I just started fasting my dogs. And so instead of doing a true fast, what I'll do is, you know, I'll feed them a big meal at night, and then the next morning, I'll give them a meal of bone broth or maybe bone broth and goat's milk or bone broth and yogurt, and that will carry them until the following evening. And, and it's like, there are just so many amazing benefits, right. so it's so great to have it on hand, whether it be homemade or pre-made. It's just nice to be able to have it on hand so that you can use it when you need it, because, you know, like the other day, just a, a about four days mornings ago, Scout vomited his entire breakfast. Right. Oh. And I won't, you know, even though he was like, like, okay, I can eat now, I'm not feeding him because I had to go to work and I wasn't going to risk him vomiting right. again. Right. So I waited right. to see if he was okay. He, he was okay. And then he had bone broth mixed with goat's milk. And that was his oh. breakfast. And then right. he had a regular dinner. But it's always so important to have on hand. Yeah. So basically our formulation is that um, we use a slow cooker. And it is, um, we, we let it cook for about 48 hours at a very low temperature. So it really pulls out all that marrow. And, and mm -hmm. then um, we cool it down very quickly. So it becomes beautifully gelatinous. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, yummy. It's, and it smells heavenly. Mm -hmm. we, I decided not to really add any other ingredients um, because we feel the purity of the bone broth is the way to go. Yeah. You know, as and I, I completely agree because it's like, and then I can add my own stuff. Right. One thing that I'll, I, my dogs get um, golden paste every day. Sure. So it's like, there's no need for me to have it really in right. your product because I have it, but it's just so, it's so interesting because I, I do believe in DIY as much as you can, but we get busy and right. that's where having a quality product from a brand that you trust and i so trust the yogurt brand that i'm excited i'm excited that you went down this route yeah no we are too and it's just you know some it just kind of rounds out the brand a little bit more um where we can offer you know different products um we have one more that's um i'm launching fairly soon and this is a uh, very exciting to really really round out the brand I partnered um, with a company called Good Vibrations Music Company. They're out of um, West Palm in Florida. And what they do is they compose um, frequency infused music and sounds. And they have a pet collection that is amazing. So basically, um, I've tested it on mine. Oh my God, it works within six to 10 minutes. It's very, very specialized sounds and music and that they scientifically have studied and everything. They have it both collections for people as well as for pets. I'm now offering on the website the uh, Music Buddy sound system, which is just a little, it, um, it, it's a little speaker. And we'll have um, a micro SD card filled with all nine albums of 
of this, of the collection. I'm also launching, um, and this is going to be really cool, actually a little tiny speaker that you will be able to attach to the collar. Mm -hmm. It'll be Bluetooth, Wi-Fi enabled, and have a little miniature SD card. And you can play that through the app that we're developing right now. Very so, nice. Very nice. It's, again, for people, like, for example, I, I'm using it, um, a couple of my dog's um, nail trims. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You would think they're being beaten during this process. <laughs> so what I did, I have the prototype, and I I'm clipped it onto Jordan's collar when it was nail time. Before before I did this, it used to be like, oh, I'm getting abused. Now, oh my God, even even the, the lady who does the trimming is like, what a great experience we're now having because he just stands there. You can finally, you know, trim the nails. It takes no time. Mm -hmm. And he's cool as a cucumber. Great also, um, like if you have leash reactive dogs or, you know, dogs that, that, that don't do well going out mm -hmm. um, in the streets and stuff, you can keep them mellow and calm. How, how about car trips where dogs get nervous? Yeah. I mean, might as well, but you don't really want to hear quote unquote spa music your entire trip to grandma's house, <laughs> but they can, and they'll stay cool as a cucumber. So it's kind of like, um, I developed this again, so, sort of as we have the yogurt, and now let's round it out with these beautiful sounds. Yeah, I love that. Congratulations. Thank you. So I just want to say thank you so much for these products. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate what you're doing for um, pet parents and for our dogs and cats. And um, so tell people where they can find these great products. Sure, absolutely. They can go on my website, which is www.yogurt.com. If they would like to um, explore what stores they're in, you can just um, click on Store Finder and see if there's a store located near you. I keep um, adding new stores. Um, I added a new distributor. So it's, you know, it'll be it'll be available out there. <laughs> Otherwise just hop on the website. Um, orders. Um, I try to have the orders go out the same day. Um, sometimes it'll be the following day if I get real swamped, but I try to really fulfill quickly and, and have you enjoy them as soon as possible. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you guys for watching these videos for national raw feeding week.